grow up learning about money? How did, how did you learn to really get your money up and keep it, which is the harder part? You yeah, know? that's how that's how I got caught up in the high, like in the like I made a whole lot of money. Like I know it sounds crazy, but I know I done spent millions, and I did it the wrong way. Like further, like just not really putting that money up. Like when you get money, you thinking like the next day I'm gonna make this money. There's nothing gonna be wrong. Like you think that's how you think when you hustling growing up like that. You thinking like that, but really you just really just spending all the money. You're not really saving it. Cause you want to flex, do this, do this. You gotta, you gotta be this type of person in the speak in the streets to get the respect. So that's what you do, and it, it'll have you spending outrageous money. Like the streets is called, uh, the streets revolve around money and drugs. That's it. Uh, I feel you. Yeah. I, I feel you. I mean, at what point did you really say, "All right, man," like I got the street shit, but. You know, I don't know if there's a real, a real strong future in that. When, when did you really start really thinking? You know, I gotta start taking this music shit really seriously. You know, even when I, though the money might not be there right now, I gotta, I gotta sort of transition my life. Yeah, the uh, well, when I start like just listening, knowing I got fans, like going hard through future mixtapes, what really got me my fans, even though I built my own foundation. But he just set it up to where, like, oh, his mixtapes, he put me on them. Like, he put me on three, four songs on each mixtape and put my songs on them. So it really gave me fans. Like, so everywhere he go, they're like, man, what's Scooter? Who's Scooter? Like, and I just stayed with that and just kept going, kept working. So I built my own lane sure. and my own name. Sure. I mean, how, how did you end up hooking up with Gucci Mane to begin with? On the street. I met Gucci in the streets though, like we from the same, like Zone 6, like we got a lot of artists that's in Zone 6, that's, that's everybody together, you know what I'm saying, ain't no, ain't no, ain't nothing wrong, like it's a whole, the whole Zone 6, we together, like Gucci, Future, like every, the whole Zone 6, we got a lot of artists, Alley Boy, Bank, the whole Duct Tape, we have a whole lot in Zone 6. Sure, so I mean, well, at what point did, did Gucci say, all right, like, I'm, I'm going to make you part of, you know, 1017 Brick Squad? Yeah. No, just really hearing my music and, like, just w once he got out and just seeing everything, like the 77 Birds, he didn't really know about me and the music. He just know, like, the streets. So when he found out, like, 77 Birds, my song, he got on it. He helped push it out. But I'm just putting the verse on it. It just it got a good response. Like, Gucci messing with Scooter? Like, who is this? Nobody didn't really know who I was. Well, him and Future mess with just, just stamped it. I got the streets already. I had the streets without rap, so it ain't no rap. And then another thing, I got a, I don't have a deal yet. You know what I'm saying? I don't have a deal. Me and Gucci got like a little joint situation we doing, but like far as a deal, I ain't chose to get a deal yet. I really want to stay independent. And what if you know Gucci? Gucci been around for a while and really has a. A crazy following. Yeah, he does. You know, like, what, what have you really learned from from being around Gucci like that? Uh, well, really, just keep working. Just don't give up. You got to stay positive and use like you got to use the people around you to get the way you're going. And you got to network and do everything. He really just try to make me be a better artist and like don't. He tell me not to do the stuff he did. Like do it this way or do it this way. That's what he tell me. He don't tell me wrong. He lead me in the right direction. He want me to be my own man. He always tell me you your own boss, you this, you that. This is what he want me to do. And I just execute it. Uh, okay. How long have you known Waka Flocka now? Uh, since... Um, I know Flocka since... Let's say about... Right before Guwak went to jail, before he went to jail, when Flock about out the let's do it. I met I met him for there, like right there. Uh, I mean, how, how do you you know? Like, like it, it's interesting because because Waka came out under Gucci, yeah. But then Waka just started just getting some monster songs, like one yeah. after another. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Does hit after hit after hit. He's you know what I mean? Like right now, Waka was real big. 
he real big. He got like a crazy fan base. He got his own style of music. He called it pop rock. I meant pop rap. You can't, he just got his own lane. And that's just him. Like, he got his own lane. But he killing it. He executing it. And he always give me good advice. Like, Walker always call me and sit me down and tell me, like, bro, what you doing? Did you do this, do that? Like, he always give me good advice. Uh, it was a real article that about some people who contracted um, AIDS, but before I was in the industry. So what they did was one of the girl's names they took out and put my name. Take someone such as Chief Keith, young kid, on fire. To me, I said the worst thing Chief Keith ever did was get a record deal. Hmm. That's just my that's just my opinion.